Okay, so now that we understand variables and decimals, now let's put them both into play and work a few problems, okay? So, let's see. Uh, let's say you have, let's do, we're going to work a fraction that is going to be um, pills to days, okay? So you got a pills to day ratio. So this patient needs... Uh, two pills per one day okay so we're trying to figure out how many pills this patient would need there's your variable there the variable X how many pills this patient needs in a span of seven days okay so how we will work this uh, fraction is through what we call cross multiplication and how this works is you're basically, you have your, your missing link right here, which is the number of pills that it would take for seven days, okay? So how this works is you want to cross multiply. So you start here from, from this side, you're going to cross up here to that side, which will give you, and you multiply those two. So that would give you 1x, you keep your equal sign, and then you start here and you cross multiply to there. So that would give you 14. 7 times 2 is 14. So now what you do is you isolate the what? You isolate your variable. So you divide this 1 and of course that's going to x out. To isolate the variable you would divide in this case because this multiplication. So that's going to cross out the 1 and then you, do, you have to do the same thing to the other side of the equal sign which would be a 1 here. And 1 divided into 14 will give you what? 14. So ultimately, x equals 14 days. Okay? So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not 14 days. x equals 14 pills. Okay, so we know that the dose for this patient total in total would be uh, for a seven day supply, they need 14 pills to be administered. So let's try another one. And how basically how cross multiplication works is the more you do it, the better you get at it. Okay, so if you don't get it the first time or it's not really clicking, just keep working problems over and over. Keep reading word problems um, and you'll eventually get it. Okay, so... Let's see. Let's say we have, um, okay, let's say, let's do another pill today ratio. Okay, and let's say this patient has eight pills uh, to one day, and we want to know how many, how many days would be, hmm, 64 pills okay so again what do we do we're gonna start typically I like to start with the variable you can whichever way you would like to go just make sure when you're crossing you, you're doing the two that cross each other and you multiply okay so here we got 8x equals 64 and don't forget what your variable stands for the variable is the missing link and in this case, our variable is days. Okay, so now we're going to divide 8 because we have 8x and now we need to isolate our variable to get our answer. So we have 8 divided by 8, that crosses out. And then we have 64, you have to do the same thing that you did here to this side as well. So that's equivalent, it's balanced out. So 64 divided by 8 would be x will give us the answer of x equals 8. Okay? So, ultimately, the answer that goes here will be 8, which is 8 days. So, we know that 64 pills, if this patient is administered 64 pills for their dosage, that means that um, they're going to be taking 8 pills each day and over the amount of days that's going to equal up to a total of eight days sorry i was a little wordy there basically it's eight days total okay so eight days total okay 
So I just wanted to give you the basic uh, overview or basic foundation to variables uh, and fractions, parts over a whole, because we're going to go more into when introducing converting. Like, say you want to go from ounces to milliliters, uh, you're converting through volume, or you're converting, you're going to be using, uh, are you converting from grams to milligrams, as we spoke about before. You're going to be using cross multiplication quite a bit, and it'll actually get to the point where you won't even need to write it out, you know, write it out and cross it. It'll just be automatic, like, okay, 8x cross, divide, okay, so this is my dose. It'll get to that point. So basically, the more you practice it, the more you do it, the better you'll get, okay? But I just wanted to give you a basic foundation. Um, let me know the best thing. Your best bet is going to be to ask questions below in the comment section. And also, if you want to keep posted on the new videos that are being posted, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Okay, have a great day. My name is Onisha Biggs, and this has been another Pharmacy Tech lesson. Bye-bye.